It's Judy Love Bowman, AKA Dr. Think and Shine. Welcome back to Dr. Think and Shine's neighborhood. On this channel, we look through the governor's goggles and apply the Bible and social science to real life. We talk about hot topics, news, reality situations, and whatever's on your mind. So if that sounds good and you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video so YouTube knows that it's interesting to you. Today, let's look at gift giving. Scripture says, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Christmas is a time where we celebrate Jesus' birth. Thank you, Lord, our Savior. God is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Son is Jesus Christ. So some people celebrate Jesus' birthday at Christmas. And that's good to give gifts to people. I like giving gifts. It makes me feel good. It's more blessed to give than receive. But let's try to remember to teach our children that the proper relationship to material things is stewardship, not consumption, stewardship to be good stewards. It's not, it doesn't matter what name brand is on it or who made it um, because God owns everything and he will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. See, only what we do for Christ will last. And don't get me wrong, we all like nice things. I like nice things, but it's stewardship. Even if you have a million dollars in the bank, you can buy something secondhand because that's good stewardship. Yes. It doesn't matter what people think about where you bought something or what you paid. Only what we do for Christ will last. So I encourage you, and we do have a section in Harambe Celebrations, 21st Century African American Celebrations and Rituals, where we encourage people to make handmade gifts. They have a, there's in that book, there's a celebration, a sibling ritual, which encourages siblings to be close at birth or at a young age, not at birth, but at a young age. And they can make handmade gifts. It's the thought that counts. Now, some people don't have time, so they just order something and send the money, and that's fine. But God knows that only what we do for Christ will last. The best gift you can give someone is to tell them about Jesus. John three sixteen says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. And in Dr. Think and Shine's book from the Dr. Think and Shine series, Papa's Casket in My Basket, and you can see the video book over on our children's channel here on YouTube, Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School. But in Papa's Casket in My Basket, Dr. Think and Shine uh, narrates about a young boy who went to his grandfather's funeral and his parents were explaining to him that his body is in the casket, but his soul is in heaven with Jesus. And when you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, you live forever. Even if your body is temporary, the soul is eternal. And if you've never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, I invite you to pray with me right now. Heavenly Father, please come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me of my sins in Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I believe you've been born again. God has great plans for your life. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. By this time next year, God will have taken you places that you couldn't go on your own. So just keep him first place in your life. Thank you for joining us here on Dr. Think and Shine, America's Lifeguard. And it's great to be here Please join us here on YouTube, subscribe, share. We always appreciate the prayers. And I promise to keep you inspired. Please follow Dr. Think and Shine and Judy Love Bowman, J-U-D-I Love Bowman on social media. I promise to keep you inspired. And if you send your name or message, I promise to keep you on my prayer list. God has great plans for your life. So until next time, the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you and give you peace power and love more love boost don't forget don't spend a lot of money on christmas gifts unless you have it and want to do it follow god it's the thought that counts stewardship not consumption 